Hey guys, we can have one year. Gonna do a little server promotional video. Anyways, this is the basic spawn part where you're gonna spawn. Obviously, when you log in for the first time. And anyway, this is a little info. Well, I guess on the server. No duplicating, no hacks, no advertising. Don't spam chat. No griefing regions. No abusing towards player staff. Don't complain when killed. No asking for anything. And no. PvP logging out or teleporting away, which is just is kind of cheap. In the arena, it's disabled for the most part because we usually have people there at all times. So whenever you try to log out, you just get slash killed right when you log in, and all your items are up for grabs. So you really just have a better chance of living if you just fight like a man, I don't know, or run away like a pussy. Anyways, <laughs> either way, you have a better chance. Anyway, this is the spawn, just a little spawn town. I believe Purple Cheese made this little. Japanese castle. Well, it's, I've seen it multiple times before. I built it actually a few times myself. So it's a pretty common build. It's McDonald's, I believe. This weird totem looking pole thing. Video of. S I mean, uh, um. Ah. List of shops. Right now there's only a warp SWAT shop. SWAT Elite is, like, easily the richest player on the server by far. Anyway, this is a, by the way, I forgot to mention some kind of essential info. This is a crack server, 24-7, fuck it, obviously, you can just join, do whatever you want. It is a PvP server, survival server, there is griefing, so except for in regions, and I'll get around to that shortly. Anyways, this is a shop where you come in to buy items, and all of the items you can buy in this shop, you can sell for half price doing that. You sell hand, which this item cannot be sold to server, but this one you can, I believe. Yeah, you can sell the logs for $3 each, and as you can see, logs are about $5, so I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here. Didn't want to put 2.5 in there. So you're actually getting a little money there. Also, I got bored one day, so I made a little warp wood but I just my I just um I was actually testing the ranks as far as MC jobs goes to where like jobs where you could do jobs join and then or jobs list see which jobs you can join jobs join minor I don't know I'm already in that job but anyway I was just testing to see if they weren't too overpowered or everything so I cut a bunch of wood this is the public enchantment table at warp enchant and this is the real estate office at Warp Real. Or Real Estate, but you can type real. Anyway, um, this is where you're going to buy regions. Regions are basically plots of land that only you can build on or you can add people to by typing region, add member, region name, member name. It's basically how you're going to want to um, add people to a region. Obviously, there's no region by that name because it doesn't make sense to have a region name, region name. Anyways, you can buy a 25 by 25 plot of land for 250k, which is approximately, I believe, 50 diamonds or 500, I don't remember, because diamonds are 5k a piece. So yeah, that'd be, yeah, that would be like 500 diamonds. I don't know, it's a bit ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, there's that. And... You can actually get it a lot faster than you think because you can also sell iron, you can also sell gold, you can sell base, pretty much all the essentials. And you can also set up your own shops for selling uh, using the chess shops plugin. Anyways, you can also buy all of these regions. I do not plan on anyone buying past here. This is basically the limit as far as my expectations. Once you're getting into $400 million, I don't even want to have to figure out how many diamonds that is. It's probably like 80, 800,000 or something ridiculous. I don't even want to feel like doing the math. I think it is 800,000, but it's still ridiculous. Anyway, as you may have seen earlier, this is the PvP arena. Sort of simple, or PvP. It's got its own set of rules to make sure things go well. Like, there's no PvP logging out. You will be killed. You have the punishments and the first offenses and everything and there's um, an armor limit too so you must be wearing armor or you must have weapons greater uh, greater than stone swords like you have to have an iron sword or an iron axe or something like that 
or you have to have like stone sword enchanted. Anything enchanted is automatically allowed. If you have an enchanted wooden pickaxe with durability one or something, unbreaking one, it's allowed. Just, I mean, no one's really going to do that, so you might as well enchant a wooden sword instead of wooden pickaxe because it'd be kind of useless. Anyways, you are allowed to yoink items. I believe that's a pretty popular term with some of the people on the server. I'm not really sure why. But they just call it yoink, yoinking items, which is basically where two people are fighting, and you maybe either have an invisibility potion on or whatever, and like you'll be fighting over here. And right when they die, you just dive in, grab the stuff, run over here, jump over, and leave the arena. Obviously, it's not easy to always jump out, which is why I have all those things in the way, so you can't just wuss out and try to run out. And also, a PvP login gets you slash killed slash kill name or whoever it is I put Haim but you know you need to get the point anyway you can't camp inside or outside the doors no hacks obviously that's a server rule as well as a PvP rule and no shooting arrows from a safe zone so like you can't stand right here and just camp right outside the doors you can't camp in the middle of the doors and you cannot camp right here like you can just hit people right here or shoot arrows that is not allowed and you must be PvP is enabled right here so right when you get to right here you can be hit and knocked back into here if you actually get hit and knocked back into here and you're like you know what this is a bad choice you can warp out <coughs> but besides that no you can't you're not allowed to <laughs> but anyway that's basically all the stuff you need to know I guess I could show you this is one of our this is our richest player by far. Wait, let me see. Huh. Oh, there's two slashes, my bad. <clears throat> if you do warp SWAT town with three T's, you can get to this guy's region where he has a massive one hundred by one hundred region. He got pretty wealthy from his shop. Also, TNT cannons are not allowed to shoot into regions. We've had a couple run ins with that in the past. We actually disabled TNT for this region. So it didn't even hurt anyone or do anything, it just kind of annoyed them. But anyway, that's that. And he has little plots where you can buy one of his plots for a certain sum of money. Like there's a 10 by 10 plot for, I believe, a 75K. Yes, 10 by 10 for 75K. And so they're all a little bit cheaper. You can all buy into his town for pretty cheap. And he also has little bank vaults you can buy in. And basically, you can put some chests in there or whatever. You, well, actually, you can't even put chests. You have to have, ask him to put the chests for you. Like, I believe the I helped him make these. The example was this one. I believe it's the fully loaded one. Anyway, this is a basic layout. It's pretty crammed, but of course, you're not going to be living in here. You're just going to use this to store items. And he's selling these for, uh, I think it's 10K. I would say it's a little high, but I mean, up to him. 10K is just two diamonds, though. That's pretty pretty reasonable price well, actually four diamonds for selling might be able to sell them to s another player for three if they're trying to get three diamonds off of you I don't know but anyway that's that so that's basically it remember just come on by IP will be in the description and I hope you guys enjoy see you guys later